What's going on YouTube, it's your boy St. Cloud coming back with another video and today we are gonna take a trip to the underground combine. This is the place where I rate artists, give them an overall, maybe give them tips of which direction they should go. Basically just giving my thoughts on random artists. Also Discord in description, join up. Hey, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, tell me some nigga don't The first artist we'll be talking about today is King Cash. This man looked like a lost opium member. He looked like the third brother of a homicide gang. I'm not gonna lie, I really rock with this dude image. You know, he goes for a little grunge and I guess the little opium look people can say. This man's probably heard this joke a thousand times before, but he got that shit on though. Dude look like a nigga Neo with them glasses. But if I were to give his image and his overall look a letter grade, I'd probably give it a B. B minus, it's been done before, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's pretty trendy right now but i still ride with it now let's really get into what really matters his music ability how he sounds and to be honest with king cash he hit or miss and he hits more than he misses i'm not gonna lie but it all depends on what type beat he's rapping on and sometimes the beats he be hopping on the shit it sound like it hit, it's a banger. Like he be flowing on the beat, but then sometimes he picks some, like I don't like how he meshes with the beat. Like his beat selection needs a little bit more work. I think he needs to tap in with like a fire ass prod, like a fire prod and we would probably see him go way more up. Like the Filthies, the Claycos, the We Gonna Be Okays, producers of that nature. But I don't know for sure, I could be wrong. Y'all let me know what y'all think about King Cash in the comments. You was when you found me, your last nigga is lame and shit. Ayy, just wanna count on my best for the night while you give me that brain and shit. Ayy, about to go see me some red out the bottle. I'm feeling like Kane and shit. Ayy, like niggas be crying about hoes, you should be ashamed of bitch. Ayy, ayy. All I would really say to King Cash is post trillers, cause I'm going through this man's Instagram and I, I don't see no trillers or no nothing. Any him snippeting any songs. And network and tap in with more prods. That's what I feel like you need to do to start going up. But all in all, I will give this artist a 75 overall. He's still growing. He still build up his attributes, go to the gym just like it's 2K. He still gotta build up his mind player. His He still has to build up himself. And I don't think he's that far off from becoming an 80 overall. I have did just found the German XXX Tentacion. Like, y'all know that meme where it's like, Oh, Tupac not dead, he in Cuba. And like how all the rappers is not dead, he in Cuba. X not dead, he's in Germany right now. But all jokes aside, this man, I think the way to pronounce his name is Gomunko. This dude got the hairstyle, he got the tattoos. And to be honest, he got that 2016, 2017 sound. And you know what else is crazy? This man really is XSS Tentacion. This man diss Drake saying F Drake. He made a whole video of Drake being hung. I ain't never seen no crazy shit like that. Not even Pusha T did some shit like that. Pusha T exposed this kid. He was just putting pictures of him in blackface. Not no, not with no nooses around his neck. This man might be Drake's biggest op. He is the D Savage to Drake's Playboy Cardi. Because one thing I hate the most is a fact. Let's get into the ratings. For the image, I gotta give him like a C minus, bro. It's he still it looks like he's still on the stages looking to find himself, still looking at what he wants to put out there or show the world. I would still work on that. This man could be the next Ian Dior or Scarlord if he really wanted to, but he gotta tap in, bro. He need to find, same thing with this artist. He needs better beats. He sounds high quality, but I feel like this man needs better beats to work with or work with different prods. All in all, I'm gonna have to give this dude like a, a 69 overall, a 68 overall, bro. But it's okay though. You know who else had a low rating when they was first starting out? Giannis Antetokounmpo. Not everybody a prodigy, bro. Giannis Antetokounmpo on the old 2k games he was like a 59 overall 60 overall he had to find himself and i feel like with this dude if he really puts time into work and to really find who he wants to be while using his idols or the people who he wants to idolize and finds a way to use them in, into his music while having his own sound he gonna be the perfect white artist bro i'm letting you know this he gonna be the next ian dior for some of these motherfuckers the next kid Leroy. <laughs> Next artist we're gonna be talking about is Bless the 
plug. He only has one EP out and one music video. Relatively new artist who has joined the combine. And I'm not gonna lie. First impressions, I just watched the video. The video is dope. I'm pretty sure this is the best song off this EP. Walk of it. The rest of the EP, not so much. Honestly, feel like I'm repeating myself like a broken record, but I feel like these artists need to find better producers. Stop getting your beats off YouTube or your homeboy. I don't know who y'all getting y'all beats from, but y'all really need to tap into the right prods because the right prods will put you on the map. But I, with him, I feel like Lester the Trap needs better beats. Mess with his flows a little bit. He's relatively new. He's not, not no rapper who's been rapping for 55 years, but he's already on a great start. If I had to give him an overall for his image, I give him a B. I feel like he know what he wants to be, wants to do with himself, but for the rapping skills, uh, I don't know. We gonna have to give him a 70 overall. <laughs> The last but not least artist, the man with sound like a thousand flows, Blue Space. Not gonna lie, not a big fan of the name. And I know I can't be talking. My name is St. Clout. Kind of fuck name is that? But look, I'm not a big fan of bro's name and the image. He don't really got one, really. He just he look like a typical nigga you would see walking down the street. No offense to him, there's nothing wrong with that. But it's not something that gets you interested really about him. So I'm gonna have to give him, I don't even wanna say it, but I'm gonna have to give him the D. On the image, the, the, the D, a D plus, a D minus, bro. I'm not really fucking with the image. But other than that, this might be the best artist in this combo. This man can flow what it sound like on every beat. And when he not really flowing or the song's not really that good, it's probably because of the beat, man. And the beat, he popped on some whack ass beat. And he, I don't know why he dropped it, but he did. But so far, his beat selection is not as bad as the previous artist. But he really does need to work on his image. Finding out what he wants to put out there and what he wants to show the world that gets them really intrigued about Blue Space, the artist. But I might be wrong. So I will give this man's overall from his music, from what I heard, I will give him a 76 overall. It's suspicious. You want to fight, I just leave them in stitches. Killing that pussy, I leave it in ditches. Yeah.